All right, part two. So my birthday um, was the twenty seventh, and I turned twenty three. And uh, I went to Tupelo Honey, but I worked all day because I couldn't find anybody to cover for me. So I worked from eight to four thirty, and um, when I got to Tupelo Honey, we had um, barbecue egg rolls and. Um, we had biscuits and honey, and I had meatloaf and Brussels sprout salad and fried okra. And then after that, we all had um, Oreo ice cream cake. <laughs> and um, we couldn't eat all of it because it would melt. Well, we couldn't eat all of it anyway, but we couldn't bring it home with us because it would melt. And so we gave half of it to the servers and was like, here, put it in your refrigerator, eat it later. And they're like, oh my gosh, thank you. And my boyfriend decided to pay for my immediate family's food, which is really sweet of him. And uh, after, like, I got a few things for my birthday I was excited about. I got a bag, and it's really cute. It has my name on it. And um, I could use it for the gym or for packing for the beach, which I'll probably do that. Um, and uh, then I also got some peach wine and money. <laughs> Or gas mostly, and um, and then I got a painting from my sister, which is really sweet, with pictures of us together. The crayon melted painting that was really sweet, and um, a journal. I get a lot of journals because I'm a writer, and everybody's like, "Oh, she's a writer. Let's get her a journal." And then I don't have enough. I don't have too much, too many journals. <laughs> anyway, so um. I have all those things, and then up coming up, I'm going on vacation, but I have to find people to cover for the 4th and the 5th, which is going to be difficult. I uh, might have already said that, but, um, and one of the, the other previous videos, but if I can't find somebody to cover for me, um, then I'm just going to go anyway. And uh, one of the things my manager says, like, just call somebody from a different Starbucks to see if they can cover for you. And I was like, yeah, that's a great idea. Call somebody I don't know and be like, hey, you want to cover for me on, on a holiday? <laughs> that's going to be great. Um, anyway, but hopefully soon I will be out of this job. Um, it's not like necessarily like the work people that I work with that's the problem. Um, it's just more like there's so many things to do at once. I get freaked out. Like there's, It's just stressful for me. Um, as, even with anxiety medicine, I have to have I have a hard time with anxiety, and um, so dealing with that on a daily basis. I mean, I think it's helping me deal with a lot of stress and deal with patience and putting on a good face. Um, but uh, I'm just kind of tired of it. I'm tired of people um, are getting burned out all the time. And to the point where, like, when I have a day off, I don't do anything. Because I'm so tired. Um, anyway. But that's pretty much part two. And, um, part three, I guess, will be about, um, the future. And so I'll see you in a minute.